Good afternoon and welcome to the day three video wrap up of the 2015 SMSF Association National Conference brought to you once again by Self Managed Super and Domacom. I'm Darren Tyson Chan, editor of Self Managed Super and the final day of the conference featured a strong finish with presentations from both sides of the political fence. The day began with an international flavour as Vanguard Investment Strategy Group Principal Fran Canary walked delegates through the concept of Advisors Alpha that centres around a service-centric model quantifying the value of advice at around 300 basis points. So it's really talking more holistically about the value proposition because the traditional value proposition has been so difficult to accomplish. Right, you think about double layering of fees, the advisor fee plus the investment fee becomes extremely difficult to outperform both of those in a double layering of fee environment. Shadow Minister for Financial Services and Superannuation, Bernie Ripoll, was up next and he acknowledged the success of the SMSF sector in terms of average member account balances. However, he warned more work needed to be done on superannuation in a few key areas. So despite the outstanding growth in super savings and the incredible contribution it makes to our economy, uh, there remain areas where more work must be done to address fairness, to address inequity and sustainability. Legal challenges to death benefit payouts was examined by Cooper Grace Ward partner Scott Hay Bartlin, stressing proper planning was critical. We're dealing with people who think they've got great estate plans, but no one's talked about trustee discretion or reversions, a, a rewardery pension, talked about binding nominations with them, haven't done the planning. Or where we have done the planning, we just haven't pulled it all together. Uh, there are holes in what we do. And that's really not good when you're at the back end of the estate planning arrangements, which is what we're talking about today. After morning tea, Assistant Treasurer Josh Frydenberg spoke about the bright future of SMSFs and also touched on some of the main challenges currently confronting the sector. The inquiry recommended a complete ban on borrowing, but we need to continue to explore the full range of options in this area. For example, should personal guarantees by self-managed super fund trustees be banned? Finally, SMSF Association Chair Peter Crump closed the conference, reiterating the industry body's core beliefs reflected in its new name. Our new name is an integral part of our evolution as the pre-eminent organisation in the SMSF sector. In line with this process, we defined a clear set of beliefs to, undercore, to underpin our core themes of professionalism integrity and sustainability. So that's it for the SMSF Association 2015 National Conference. No doubt you're all looking to do it all again in Adelaide next year. I'm Darren Tyson-Chan.